Hey friends. Hey friends, welcome to our React JS fundamental series. In this video, we are going to talk about JSX. JSX is one of the most frequently asked question in the interview by the interviewer, obviously by the interviewer. So here we are going to talk about we are going to talk everything about JSX and uh, what, what people thinks like uh, some people thinks JSX is JavaScript or some people thinks it's HTML or it's XML. So we need to we need to have a deep understanding of JSX because interview may ask you a lot of questions related to the JSX uh, and you may uh, end up answering wrong things. If you don't have depth understanding of it. All right. So let's start. And so I'm going to show you an official draft from Facebook. Not uh, I'm not sure it's an official, but it's a draft from Facebook. You can see it's a facebook.github.io and it's a draft and it says a JSX specification and uh, what it is say it says it is an XML like syntax extension to the ACMAScript. So what, what's an ACMAScript? So ACMAScript is nothing but it's another name of JavaScript and JavaScript uh, we, we have some extension uh, in the syntax of JavaScript, right? So if you're going to write a JSX code within a vanilla JavaScript, then it is going to give you an error because that's not syntactically correct. That's that's a wrong thing, right? You can see here in this example, I've written an arrow function const app and I'm trying to return some h1 with some text, right? And clearly it has given me an error. That's a syntax error. So syntactically it is wrong. And, and so this is not an expected token, right? So within the JavaScript engine, V8 engine, there is uh, nothing like JSX, right? JavaScript engine has no idea about JSX. That's why we are getting an error. That's a syntax error, right? If, if we will change this code to something else like, uh, uh, let's say like this, and now it is fine, right? But now it is a valid code because something we have within the string and JSX is not a string. JSX is not HTML and it is not even completely JavaScript, right? I, I will tell you how. So as per the definition, it is an XML like syntax extension to the ACMAScript, right? So you can think of it like you have a JavaScript and you have got uh, something which is like HTML as it says XML like syntax. So XML like syntax. Now you have added XML like syntax within the JavaScript and then it becomes JSX. Now it has all the power of JavaScript, right? Because it's a JavaScript and you added XML like syntax, then it becomes JSX. Obviously, we have JavaScript and it has all the power of JavaScript. So if we are going to write JSX code within the vanilla JavaScript, then how we can compile it? Obviously, we need some different compiler, right? Uh, so what, what compiler is that? So yeah, here we have a compiler. That's a Babel. It's a compiler for the next generation. Next generation means the ES6 or ES7, ES8. It's a compiler for that generation, right? And you can see I've written something. Uh, that's JavaScript, right? And I'm trying to return JSX code. And you can also think of it, it's not a JavaScript. And it has some preset. So you can see if I will uh, open this and I have a preset that's a React, right? If I will remove this preset from here, let's uncheck it. And I'm getting the same error. It's a syntax error. Uh, JavaScript has no idea uh, about it, right? Now, if I will enable my React uh, as a preset, so React will process this file and React know how where to use babel and then uh, compile this script and convert into the pure javascript right so here you can see we have a simple function hello with hello world within a uh, div tag right so here we have again the same thing function hello that's same in javascript also a return statement is also same in javascript but and comment is also same but here because of because we have uh, like uh, enabled this uh, react so it is using a function from react because react know how to use jsx right so it is using a function react.create element and uh, based on the j uh, this tag code or jsx code it is passing the first argument oh it's a div tag so uh, react will uh, like think oh i need to create an element with div tag so first argument will be div the second argument null because it we have no attributes we don't have any id class or any kind of attribute next is the hello world the content of the uh, uh, tag right so the content of tag is hello world so here the uh, babel uh, like um, uh, babel is using that react create element function to um, uh, to compile a code right so now the question is uh, without jsx can we write a component yes of course we can write a component we don't need jsx to write a component right we can write a component with completely javascript so here is a simple example uh, you can see 
this is a simple example and uh, of uh, of a React application. This is a basic React app with all the uh, uh, dependencies like React, React DOM, and everything. And here I've written a component uh, function app, and I'm instead of returning JSX, I'm just uh, using React library create element, and I've used I've passed the first element h1 null second argument and then hello react and i've got hello react now if you want to pass some id in class then what do you have to do you have to pass the second argument of uh, for the h1 right so the first argument name is h1 and here you have to pass you have to say class and it is going to be uh, my my class like this you can pass all the attributes for the tag right if you inspect this code if you inspect and you can see So you can see we have got a class and the class name is my class likewise you can add id you can any you can add any other type of attribute right so jsx uh, sorry react.createElement works totally fine you don't need jsx to create a component but the thing is if you want to create a large component if you want to create uh, if you want to create nested tags right dev within the dev you are going to have an h1 tag below the h1 tag you are going to have paragraph tag within the paragraph tag you are going to have a span tag text tag and a lot of things so if you go with this approach, it will take a lot of time plus a lot of confusion and you may end up uh, with a lot of errors, right? But still we can do that. It's not a problem. So here we have second argument, hello react. And I want uh, a children uh, element within the within the h1 tag, right? So what I have to do, I have to pass the react. I have to pass the last argument as a react.create element. So I will say react.create. Or I will simply take this line down. I'll say react dot create clone not create element create element and then I will say p tag and obviously uh, I don't I don't want to pass any attributes so it is going to be null and the content will be hello right or save this so you can see we have got hello now if you inspect this if you're going to inspect this so yeah see you can see we have got h1 tag with the class my class then within the h1 tag we have got p tag and then this is h1 ends and then div ends right uh, okay sorry h1 ends and here the p ends so this is how you can create a complex and large components by just using javascript uh, within the scope of react you don't need to uh, use jsx but this will be very simpler if we if we use jsx and let handle everything uh, react okay if you write jsx the react will handle react will make use of react preprocessors and then it will convert our uh, vanilla javascript code uh, our jsx code to the vanilla javascript code so the same example we can do by using jsx so we'll say h1 let's close this h1 and within the h1 we're going to say p tag and here we'll say hello close the p tag and you can see we have got the hello the same example and it is much more readable uh, very developer friendly everyone will understand what is it uh, oh it's h1 tag it's a p tag we know it's uh, and it is like meaningful right uh, writing create react create element will take a lot of time uh, complexity will um, it will be complex a lot of troubles will will face in the development right so yeah that's why we use jsx but it is optional without jsx also we can create a component by using react.create element uh, react will uh, make use of a compiler that's a babel babel will compile our uh, jsx code uh, added react as a preset and uh, then it will give a vanilla javascript code and that is that that that's what we are going to compile in our uh, that's what we are going to compile in our browser so we'll see with some uh, visualization right so here uh, what what i'm trying to say so I'm trying to say uh, as the do, uh, uh, draft says like uh, so uh, as per the drafts uh, what is it J JSX is XML like syntax extension and you can read more about it within the draft you can find the link in the description so the XML like syntax ext extension to the JavaScript right so you can also say uh, it is superset of javascript superset of javascript so superset of javascript right now you may think okay if it is jsx then why don't this extension is dot jsx right why not why why it is dot js 
so if every time uh, a new extension will come in the market let's say uh, extension came in the market with name abc and the name of the uh, like uh, like jsx we have something like abc so what we are going to do we are going to change this to abc and then uh, after a few months a new extension come in the syntax extension come in the market and then what we are going to do uh, xyz so here we'll say dot xyz right so that's the reason uh, developers avoided uh, using a new extension instead of using a new extension it is actually the everything comes uh, within the javascript everything is same javascript so just let let leave everything as dot uh, js instead of using dot jsx right so yes super set of javascript and uh, visually you can see like uh, we have javascript right now we have got xml like syntax and all of them together forms jsx right so now this is the jsx you can write your uh, html like code or xml like code and uh, it will be much simpler now let's see the valid valid jsx code okay so valid jsx code will be like uh, uh, we can we can uh, let's say const name equals to string is one close the string so this is uh the variable declaration and it's const and uh, we'll say element equals to p tag and here you can say so if you want to um, write a variable within the jsx so we, we have to use curly braces and then name close the curly braces and then p tag close right not just this let's say we have a function uh, get name right so we have function get name and we are returning the name or oh, whatever name there is close this also we can write a, a expression like a element name equals to p tag and we can we can call up that function get name close this and close p tag so this is also a valid syntax not just this as i said it has all the power of javascript so it it can also calculate the things so let's say math so here we'll say p tag and uh, if you if we write uh, 2 plus 2 curly braces 2 plus 2 this is also a valid code so it will compute and it will print like 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 equals to 4 right this is a valid code it, it can do all everything whatever the possible expression uh, you can write except the definition right if you want uh, to write the definition let's say uh, within curly braces function and test so this is invalid this is totally uh, wrong this is not going to work within the JSX so this is yeah this this we can't do within this we can't do within jsx right this is not a valid code but except that everything is a valid code and yeah we have few replacement from html so if you are talking about html uh, let's say p tag so here we have few replacement from html so if you are writing normal html so so if you're writing normal html p class equals to a close the p tag hello close the p tag open and close the p tag now this is close tag right so same uh, will be in jsx like p instead of class it is going to be class name and a close this you can talk all of this to the interview right what's the difference and here uh, the class the replacement like class is going to be class name and uh, class is like class name and all other uh, all other attributes like uh, on click on key up everything becomes like on camel case on click with capital c on capital key key up so uh, now the jsx attribute name is uh, camel case and uh, yes rest of the thing is same and let's see the compilation process if you're going to see the compilation process So what happens uh, first, uh, let's say you have written uh, some JSX code, right? So 
from the SS code. Now it goes uh, to the React preprocessor. Preprocessors. So React preprocessor processes these these scripts and converts uh, to the JavaScript, normal JavaScript, right? So this JavaScript can be uh, executed by the browser. This JavaScript can be executed by the browser, web browser. And this is how everything works. So this is all about JSX from my side. Now, if I'm missing anything, just let me know in the comment section so we can learn from each other. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.